Hi everyone, this is Big Buddy from Big Buddy World once again with our next destination that is a third destination. Uh, we started with Humpy in the South, the Humpy story series. Mm -hmm. uh, then we went to East, that is the Golden Triangle story series. And now we have come to Northeast, the Seven Sisters story series. So the first story which we start today uh, is I am Brahmaputra, the story of Brahmaputra. Okay, uh, it's a mythological tale. But before we start with the story, you remember what do we do, right? Yes, we sing our song. And the song goes like this. Enjoy this song, learn this song and sing the song as well. We are the seven sisters, ra 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 ra. In the northeast of India, ra 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 ra. Arunachal, Asam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya and Tripura. Ra, 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 ra. We have a brother sick him. Ra, 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 ra. In the eastern Himalayas, ra, 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 ra. Arunachal, Asam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya and Tripura. Ra, 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 ra. Ra, 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 ra. Yes, my father's name was Brahma and that's why I was called Brahma Putra. You know who is Brahma and Putra means son and my mother's name is Amogha. Okay, but um, you know what, Brahma Putra, I, I'm called Brahma Putra only in a particular place. But I start from Tibet and in Tibet, I'm called as Sangpo. And then I enter India and in India I enter near uh, in Arunachal Pradesh and in Arunachal Pradesh which is also a part of northeast of India, the seven sisters, I am called as Siang. And then I flow into Assam where I am called Luit or Brahmaputra and then I flow into Bangladesh, mm, Tibet, India, Bangladesh and in Bangladesh I am called as Jamuna, not Yamuna. It's a different river and then from Bangladesh I go into Bay of Bengal. Quite a long journey I say. Okay and as I told you my father's name is Brahma and my mother's name is Amogha. So when I was born my father actually wanted uh, someone who can help the mankind and that's when I was born as a water as water and that is when sage Shantanu took me and placed me amongst four beautiful mountains as and that is when I was known as Brahma Kunda. The four beautiful mountains are Kailasha, Gandhamadana and uh, then it is Jarudi and the fourth one is uh, Sambhattaka. Okay, the four mountains and I was known as Brahma Kunda as I told you. So it was nicely placed over there, but I was not helping all the mankind. I was helping only special some people. Okay. Um, but was that my purpose? No. My purpose was to help mankind. Okay. Now, during this time, Parshuram, who is another incarnation of Vishnu, Parshuram had committed a sin. And because of the sin he had committed, okay, he wanted to get rid of that sin. So he asked the sages, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And the sages told him that you go and visit some holy place, places. So Parshuram said yes. And you know when he committed that sin, because he had committed the sin with an axe, the axe had got stuck on his hand. So, and he started visiting some holy places and one of them was this Brahma Kunda. Now, Brahma Kunda was situated amongst the mountains and he wanted to access Brahma Kunda. So, how will he do? So, he took an axe, okay, and he started to cut the mountain. And as he started to cut the mountain, the water which was only placed or stuck over there amongst the four mountains started to flow. Happily it started to flow and that is when he was known as Brahma Putra because that is when he served the purpose for what he was born. 
because the water flowed and flowed and flowed and it started helping people who really needed it and it wasn't only for the special people and brahmaputra was very happy flowing around now during this time when when parshuram was cutting the mountain you know what happened the axe which was stuck on his hand loosened up and as it loosened up and it came out a little bit of blood you know dropped into that water and that is the reason they say that the water of brahmaputra has a little tinge of red color in it and that is the reason it is called as luit in assam as well brahmaputra or luit luit means blood okay uh, it's also called burha luit burha means old luit means blood that means it's a very ancient river so wonderful isn't it how the names come up uh through stories and how they flow and what they do and we got get to know about it through such wonderful stories isn't it uh, okay so that is how brahmaputra was formed it started from tibet it went into india and then into bangladesh and flows into bay of bengal and serves its purpose of helping the entire mankind with water isn't it a beautiful story okay so right now we it's time for our three questions okay the first question is what is brahmaputra known as in tibet the second question is what are the names of the four mountains amongst which brahmaputra was placed or the water was placed the third question is what is the final destination of brahma putra okay so these are the three questions answer these questions and then if you want the worksheet the journal the travel journal and the scorecard sheet you can mail it to us with your mail id and we will send it to you it will it's a wonderful travel journal which we have which you can maintain the travel the places where you have traveled and as well as the worksheets are interesting which will have fun while doing it okay and there is a score card where you can earn points based on whether you have listened to the story whether you have learned the song whether you have maintained the journal depending upon lot of other things okay so send us a mail and then we go ahead to our next destination the next time when we meet okay bye bye see you again with our next story from the seven sister story series bye